Hello everybody, it's Murialda here once again, and welcome back to a big giant Ami Ami box. Woohoo, yes, and there is only one figure in here. We have us. Lilac, cool Nep. Yes, we have Nep. Purple Heart. Woohoo! I've been waiting for her for over a year and a half. I can't wait to open her. So, I'm, I mean, the box is so huge, I'm not even going to attempt to spin it. So, yeah. Uh, this is a 140 size box, at least according to what it says on the side. Uh, it's bigger than my other 140 boxes, so... <laughs> Let's go ahead and put this off to the side and see what we got. So we got a folded postcard with Amico. Nice little winter coat. Nice little tights. And there she is, kind of in a Madoka type outfit. Same one we got the last time. So yay. Just checking stuff real quick. Okay then. Just to give you guys a preview. That big giant box is pretty, pretty necessary. <laughs> Come on, let's get this out. There we go. Make sure there's nothing else in here besides paper. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing else in there besides paper. So, Nep comes in a, in her shipping box. Woohoo! Nowhere near as big as the other box, but still. So, we've got a tag with all the information. Uh, so, this technically Nep, this figure, is the bonus item for the with the Blu ray DVD of the uh, Summer o Nep no Natsuyasumi OVA. So, yeah, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and Get this outer box open now, or inner box, or whatever box. We are doing layers. It's Inception box. So the funny thing is, I don't even have a Blu-ray player. <laughs> I mean, I've got a Blu-ray drive on my computer, which I haven't used in ages, and it's not even technically able to play Blu-rays, but whatever. Ooh. Yes. Damn, does Nep look good in white. So over here we've got some cardboard inserts. And we have the Nep Summer Vacation OVA Blu-ray disc. So, yay. It is what it is. But what we care about is Nep, the figure. So let's go ahead and pull this out. At least try to. She is in a big giant box. I can see why shipping was so expensive. Unfortunately, I had to, you know, with the pandemic and everything, have to do DHL. So yeah, this is Lilac Cool Purple Heart. Nep. Yes. God, does Nep look good. Uh, she is from Hyperdimension Neptunia, the OVA. Nep no Natsu Yasumi, Nep Summer Vacation. This is a 1 7 scale figure manufactured by Good Smile and distributed by Frontier Works who is in charge of the uh, Blu-ray and everything. Uh, she released on Christmas Day and wasn't delayed at all or anything, probably because she was a bonus to a DVD. <laughs> and they probably really pushed to get it out on time. Uh, I ordered NEP back on July 27th of 2019. So yes, almost a year and a half I've been waiting. I've had her on order. Uh, so... I paid for her on Christmas Eve. Ami Ami invoiced her. It was probably Christmas Day their time. Uh, she shipped out on Christmas Day my time. And she arrived today on the 27th of December. So only a couple days in DHL shipping. So that's good. Unfortunately, NEP is super expensive. Uh, the version I got, which was, you know, buy the DVD, get the figure as a bonus, was... 29,900 yen, or at the time of PayPal conversion, $301.36. Amiami did have two other versions, one with a, a wall scroll and one with the wall scroll and a little acrylic stand. 
I didn't get those because they were more expensive and now all I care about is the figure. Um, but to top off the uh, pure insane cost of NUP was the shipping. As I said, we're in the pandemic, so had to DHL her. DHL was 13500 yen, or $136.87. You know, you can get another figure for that price, but I was not going to wait for her. I needed her. I paid it. So, altogether, I did use like 300 points or whatever. I paid, to get up into my hands, $435. Ouch. But damn, does she look good. So, yeah. So... Let's see, if we put it down like this, there is the side of the box. The top of the box or whatever. The other side. Another side. And then the back, showing off all the different, you know, full body shots of her. This is a huge box. But NEP is huge, so I think it is going to be worth it. So let's see, how do I open this? So it looks like it's one that opens from the front like this. And it folds up. There's the inner, inner flap. Heavy duty cardboard. And there she is in her blister packaging inside the box. Looks pretty damn good. Very strong plastic smell. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull her out carefully. Come on. So back of the box, it says, you know, Purple Heart, Lilac Cool, woohoo. Let's uh, fold this up. And put it off to the side. Boy getting quite the stack of cardboard next to me. <laughs> uh, so yeah. There we go. Yep. And we've got some instructions. So being good smile, luckily they do have an English side. So all the warnings and you know how to assemble her. Gotta take off her arms. Put the little uh, hip pieces on. Put the other hip piece on, put her onto the base, put the wings onto the base, put the weapons into her hands or whatever, and put the put them on. So lots and lots of stuff. But we'll look at that later. See if I can bring her closer maybe. Tilt up a little bit. So yes. So I did see a Fig Memo did a little photo review of her. And she, damn, she looked perfect. And then Anabase put out his video on her. So, yeah. Luckily, I do think uh, Good Smile, for the insane price that they charged, put an insane amount of work on her and, you know, did super good quality. At least from what I've seen. And yeah, she she damn does <laughs> look good and white. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, start getting this blister taken apart. I, I feel like I'm repeating myself quite a bit lately, so sorry about that, but we have to make do with what we have to make do. I'm just so happy that I got her by, before the end of the year. Heck, I'm just happy I have her. Lots of tape holding the different blister layers together, but not tape actually holding the blister closed. <laughs> So we'll just stick those right back in real quick. Actually, I'll go ahead and take her off. And we'll look at the uh, wings and everything from the black back blister. And as I said, quite the strong plastic smell. Come on, come on. Cooperate. So there are her wings. Probably... We'll have them the shiny side out. They're like clear plastic. They have a little bit of frosting effect on them. Feels kind of like uh, like the decals on those acrylic sandies or whatever. And then also in here is the little pole to hold her uh, MPBL up. 
multiple particle beam laser or whatever it's called. It's Nepgear's weapon that she gets when she, spoilers, combines with Nepgear and transform and gets her lilac cool uh, processor unit. I am sorry, this is a complete disaster of a non-boxing, but <laughs> I'm just so excited. So there she is without the back blister, so we can get a better view of her from the back, but not as good as if she was outside of the blister. So let's do that now. So again, there's more tape to take care of. And I think that's all there. There is another kind of like partial blister that is taped in as well. So we'll cut that now. And yes, I am recording. Another piece down here. And that should be good. Go ahead and pop this open. Nope, oh, there's more tape. So that means there's probably more tape on this side too. Nope. Okay, blister is open. Let's look at her base. Uh, set her over to the side. So, she has a big giant base, <laughs> kind of figures with a big uh, figure of her. Um, I have read that on Fig Memo that when you have all of her weapons on, at her widest point she is 50 centimeters, which is like almost 20 inches. So yeah, she'll be big. So the base has the little support to hold her up pre-attached. And it has kind of like a sky cloud pattern on it. And it has a peg hole. And yeah. Um, I will be right back. It is actually starting to get a little bit dark. So I want to get another light. So I will be back in a second. Okay, sorry about that. But it was, you know, the sun was up when I got her and, you know, Shit happens. <laughs> so hopefully this light will help a little bit. But anyways, yeah, her base, like I said, the stand is attached to the base. Uh, the bottom, nothing special on it. Oops. Okay, let's pull out the MPBL. So big, big giant weapon. By itself, it is almost probably 11 inches wide. It does have an arm attached, which is holding the handle, and she's practicing proper trigger safety, so finger is off the trigger. She's got the little, like, claw hook thing on the top of her wrist. Nice, nice shiny plastic there, and then contrasting with her flesh. And you've got a nice gradient between purple and blue on the blade. So, yay. Put that over there. Now, Nep's actual weapon is her sword. Again, she has a hand attached holding the sword. Got the little, little energy shield, blade, weapon, whatever it is on her wrist. And there is the sword. This one has a gradient between purple and blue uh, along the blade. And there is some shading on the uh, white part as well. And a little bit of crud on it. Just wipes right off. Pretty nice detail on the hand. Uh, all the fingers are one little blob. But they are sculpted very well. A little speck of dirt looks to be embedded in her fingers. Uh, just looking on this hand again. And there is a little bit more separation in the fingers. So yeah. Um... We have the waste part of her processor units. So, again, looks very good, kind of like her skirt. And from the back, you can see the little plastic support that's holding them up, holding them together. Unfortunately, they did do have pegs and they did uh, drill holes into her legs to attach them with. So, boo to that. But it is what it is. Um, next, we will pull out the little armbands. 
And instead of just being plain boring, you know, armbands, they added more processor units to them. So yeah, got more diamond shaped things and yeah. <laughs> so there's the blue to dark blue gradient. And then the armbands themselves are keyed, so they will only go on one arm. Uh, the back's not very exciting, it's just solid white. And then, it looks like the only thing that's left in here is Nep. Oh, yes, Nep, 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 Nep. So she does have some foam on her hair, and then some plastic bags on her twin tails, her braids. Come on, come on. Be very careful taking these off because they want to grab the plastic. So yay, uh, set her down. Put this blister off to the side now. And another nice thing is she comes with another set of arms not holding the weapons. So if you want, you can display her without the weapons and possibly fit her in a display case a little bit better. So there is Nep's face. She's got her power button eyes. She's, you know, in an action pose, so she's screaming. Got the open O mouth. It's, uh, it's a deep mouth, so there is depth to it. <laughs> uh, on her hair, she's got the, you know, uh, plus sign hair clips. Which also have more processor units coming out of them. Woohoo! She has a very well designed belly region. Nicely sculpted. You can just see all the muscles and the, you know, little bit of. I was gonna say like a little bit of fat, but no, she is a very fit, thin girl. There is no fat there, but you can see like the bulges of her belly and the belly button and everything. Wearing very small like bikini bottoms with more processor unit pieces <laughs> very good bust on her um looking deeply into her cleavage it is welded but you really cannot tell and just from the side they call her perfect heart for a reason she is pretty perfect <laughs> uh, it's got her nice long legs uh, with her thigh high boots I really like the uh, glossiness of the boots and just, you know, all the shading and everything. There's blues and purples and aquas and all that good stuff. Uh, no real camel toe to speak of, but you can see it is tight, digging into her crack a bit. And again, we've got some butt cleavage even. Woohoo! Um, something I didn't notice until I started looking at the review pictures is her shoes. Expose a bit of her ankle. Yeah, to the top of her foot. And, I mean, they just look so look so good. And they're not the big, giant processor units of other NEPs. So, they actually look like comfortable shoes. And they've got more processor blades sticking out of the back of them. Um, and, I mean, look at her hair. Just look at all the detail in the hair. There's lots of shading, lots of sculpting strands and everything. It doesn't really look obvious that they glued extra pieces on. I mean, maybe at the top, if you're looking at her from the top. And then where the braids attach, there's a little joint line as well. It's got a very nice spine line on her. Sorry for the lack of focus. Uh, good detail on her neck. And, you know, she's got like a necklace holding her processor unit, hiding her uh, neck joint line. She's got ears. Yeah. And she has these inserts into all the peg holes on her. Uh, the flesh feels nice and smooth. So they, they're they using that technique, which makes the flesh paint sm feel smooth. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and take these little inserts out. Urgh, they are in there quite tight. I'm glad they gave you the little ball to pull on. So yeah, I will put these over here. And, I mean, 
She looks good with her without her weapons, but come on. In this review and how I'm going to display her, she's going to have everything. So we'll go ahead and take these arms off. Set her down. And we'll, we'll look at the arms again. Again, she's meant to be hold, whoops, holding the weapon, so she is practicing, practicing trigger safety. And we see the peg hole in the hand as well. So they did not make a separate hand. They actually you, you included two sets of the same hand. Just one of them has the uh, weapons pre-attached. Same with this hand. You've got the peg hole in the palm as well. So that's a little maybe disappointing. But anyways, let's get her together. So I'm bringing out the instructions just to make sure I put things in the right spot. So it starts with putting on her waist pieces. So we'll pull those out again. And they go with the little diamond on top. So that might help you align things a little bit better. And I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure the peg holes are keyed and everything. So just be careful because it is a tad fragile. Again, I'm kind of sad. It would be nice if maybe they included a, you know, little extra processor piece you could put on there to hide the holes if you didn't want her to display her with the whole thing. But as I said, we're displaying her whole, as complete as we can. Okay, that one doesn't go in very far. So we got those in, and now it says to put her, peg her into the base. So we've got the hole for the metal rod, as well as the, as the square for the plastic. So it feels wrong to stab her into the back, but it is what it is. And again, it d didn't really go in very far, but she does feel quite stable. Looks pretty good, even without her arms, or weapons, or wings. Yeah, nap. God, she looks good. Okay, so the ne next they want us to put the wings on. So, let's see here. Ensure the connecting shapes of the parts are the same. Grip parts by the peg when attaching to ensure they're not damaged. So let's see. It looks like they go with the pegs on the bottom. So I'm guessing they go maybe this way. Let's see here. So this side, the left side has a little like L shape. So it matches with this wing. So let's see here. Should go like this. Okay, this is actually quite tight. So what I'm actually going to do is take her off. Just to give myself a little bit more leverage. Because as I said, this is a pretty fragile piece and it goes in at kind of a weird angle so then this one will go on this side and yep, it's so the shiny shiny part goes towards the front and kind of the frosted textured part goes in the back now that we've got those on, we'll go ahead and put her on again. She's just getting more and more impressive. So now we'll put the arms on. So the we'll start with the back arm holding her sword. And that one is kind of the square with the chunk taken out of it. So let's see. Put the armband on first. 
boy, these instructions should say put her on on the base last. <laughs> Okay, so that side is attached, and now we'll put the MPBL on. So this one's kind of like a square with the corner taken out. Okay, and then I am also going to inspect the rod. So this end has a little divot in it. So that's the end that the sword rests on. And then this end is round, but it's got like a little side shaved off of it. So it should only go, go into the base one way, which should make lining things up easier. And then we'll put her arm on. It should go like this. And then make sure that the sword rests there so she's got some support. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's push her back. There's Nep fully assembled. My god, does she look good in white? <laughs> and there's her extra arms. We'll just set them there for now. And we'll try to do a spin around. Hopefully I don't catch anything. Now, like, uh... Alter's uh, black heart, when you look at her from the side, she, I think she really looks, the pose kind of looks stupid. Nep is in also another weird pose where she's kind of like putting her feet forward and leaning back a bit. I mean, it makes sense if she's like shooting the gun, but unlike black heart, I think it still looks really damn good. <laughs> As I said, they call her purple heart or perfect heart for a reason, not just because she's purple, but Nep is gorgeous. She's beautiful. And she is, you know, the waifu that got me into collecting, really. <laughs> so <laughs> we have Nep to thank for all this. So as a comparison, I've pulled out a couple other Neps. So we've got the Kara Ani 17th Angel Nep. And then I decided to pull out Alters one seven scale nep. So let's see if we put them, put them like here, I guess. So these are maybe a little bit closer, but just looking at them real quick, uh, lilac cool nep is probably smaller a little bit than the rest of them. Uh, these two have larger faces, and just, you know, the bodies seem a tad bit larger. But space-wise, <laughs> she takes up a lot with both those weapons sticking out. Um, I thought about pulling out all my nups, but again, I don't have all the space on the table for that. But uh, hair color-wise, her hair is maybe a little bit lighter than the rest of them. But it makes sense because she's white instead of black. But, yeah. Um, Quality-wise. So, Alter's Nep, I did receive broken with a little, and had a little mark on her bangs. And when I took her out and started dusting her, it broke off again. Lilac Cool Nep, nothing was broken. The pieces all went together very easily, nothing hard. The hardest part was the wings, and that's just because they are were at, like, an angle, and you're pushing, trying to push them in. But the arms went on real easy. The waist pieces went on easy. Uh, Lilac Nep, or Goddess Nep, yeah. She didn't really have any issues either, but the paint is maybe not the highest quality. The gold parts it still looks really, really damn good, but... Lilac Cool Nep, my god. <laughs> she, I mean, yeah, she's pretty much perfect. Um, let's see, let's go ahead now, bring her closer, 
and do maybe a little spin around up close. Yep, I love her. I am very, very happy. I wish she was less expensive. I wish she didn't have to be bundled with Blu-ray or whatever, but I was not going to pass up on this figure. And... Sword just barely clears. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and take the camera out of the stand. Sorry for the shaky, but we got to get some close-ups. Um, so, she does have a bit of a downward gaze. So, you want her up high. I mean, you'd want her up high no matter what because she is just gorgeous and perfect. Very well detailed. Uh, very, very nice chest on her. And just, you know, looking from the sides, the way the shadows work and everything looks very good. And her boobs, while large, are not overly large. They're, you know, perfect size. Very good uh, waist on her. She's got an hourglass shape. Very good detail on her belly. You can see the ribs. You can see, you know, the hip bones. Got the little line on her crotch, which is a design element, which, honestly, not my favorite. But it is what it is. And just look at her legs. You can see, like, the calf muscles and how they're shaped and everything. The shoes look great on her. Just the pose that she's in. Take the dismembered arms off. She's holding the sword very well, daintily and everything. And the MPBL from, you know, Nepgear. Spoilers again. At the end of the OVA, they, you know, merge into one and, well... They don't merge, but they kind of trade processor units a bit. Look at her from the side. From the back. Yep, she just looks pretty dang good. I am very happy. So we'll go ahead and push her back. And get the stand back up here. And we'll go ahead and close this video off. So, there we go. Nip, nippy, nip, 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 nip. Bring her nice and close. Focus on her face a bit. Bring the other two in. Poor, poor goddess Nip can't really see her. She's being hidden by the weapon. Maybe if we uh, range. Nope. Uh, bring her up front. So yeah. Uh, get the notes out. As I said, I am very happy with this figure. This is Lilac Cool Purple Heart. Come on. Sorry, Goddess Nep. You're just gonna be hidden by a, by a MPPL. But yeah, anyways. Again, Lilac Cool Purple Heart. Nep. She is from Hyper Dimension Neptunia, the OVA Nep no Natsuyasumi, or Nep Summer Vacation. She's a 1-7 scale figure. She is manufactured by Good Smile Company, but distributed by Frontier Works. Uh, she is actually a bonus to the Blu-ray release of the OVA. And as such, very expensive. Um, I paid brand new at Amiami for the set, twenty nine thousand nine hundred yen or three hundred and one dollars and thirty six cents. Very expensive, but I'm happy with her. Gotta have an up. Uh, DHL shipping was even more insane, one hundred and thirty six dollars and eighty seven cents. She just was in a huge, huge box. But anyways, she released on Christmas Day. Great Christmas present. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. I am very happy. I will see you later. Bye-bye.